at Hollins, what we're trying to do is we're trying to mold and nurture well-rounded adults. And uh, we want them to be equipped with the skills that they need to be successful. And I think quantitative reasoning is at the basis of that. Real life math. That's what quantitative reasoning is. I love the higher level math. But not everybody's going to use that. That's not something that everybody's going to use in their everyday life. But if you can show me somebody out there who does not use a credit card or who doesn't pay rent or mortgage, who doesn't go out to eat and have to leave a tip, who doesn't use a cell phone, who doesn't consume electricity, who doesn't drive a car, that huge list goes on and on. If you can show me somebody who doesn't do that, you can show me somebody who doesn't use quantitative reasoning skills. Otherwise, everybody uses them. The QR component of the liberal arts education, I think gives the students the skills that they need to be productive members of society. It helps them with what they need to, to survive in our world. They need to know if they're getting a good deal. They need to know if um, how they can weigh their options when they're trying to make a purchase. Uh, they need to know how to make educated decisions. And I think that that is what quantitative reasoning can do. We hear the big buzzword today of adulting. That's really just paying bills, owning a home, renting a home, driving a car, traveling, being a productive member of adult society. And all those things, um, having a job and getting paid, um, going on recreational events, doing, um, doing things, watching the news, being an informed citizen, all of those things, um, we need to be able to be well-rounded, thoughtful people. That's what those quantitative skills do. It helps the students to be able to say, okay, are those numbers valid? If they are valid, are there other ways to present those numbers? It helps them to be critical thinkers. Um, it helps them to look at things and say, is this something that I understand and is this something that I can make sense of? All of those components of adult life have some part or some basis in quantitative reasoning. I think that um, they don't necessarily need to be able to solve for X, but they need to be able to think critically. They need to be able to think in a sequential way. They need to be able to make good decisions. And all of those types of things are based on the skills that they learn in, in these quantitative reasoning classes. Mm -hmm.